guys, mighty people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open your mouth this morning. Don't care what you're going through, don't care what you feel like. Claim life this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes. Arise. Give him praise. Seven minutes on the other side of the seven o'clock. It's called Arise in the morning. As we give him praise, we thank him. Don't care what we're feeling in the body. Mm-mm. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Say it out of your mouth this morning. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Let him arise. Let all the enemies scatter this morning in the name of Jesus. Arise. Yes. Arise. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. On the other side of the of seven o'clock, I rise in the morning. Let's bless him as you step out this morning. Another rise. There's a lighthouse 
on the hillside that overlooks life's sea. When I'm tossed, it sends out a lot that I might see. And the light that shines in darkness now will save me, lead us home. If it wasn't for the lighthouse, my ship would sail no more. That lives around us They say Tear that old lighthouse down You see the big ships Don't sail this way anymore There's just no use for that thing Just standing around But then my mind goes back To that story Saw the light, the light of that old lighthouse that still stands there on the hill. And I thank God for the lighthouse. I owe my life to Him. She. And from the rocks of sin He has shown His light around me That I could clearly see If it wasn't for the lighthouse Where would this ship and I thank God for the lighthouse I owe my life to Him Jesus is the lighthouse And from the rocks oh, We thank him for the light of this morning, amen. If you get in there for 8 o'clock, you gotta keep moving. 15 minutes past 7 o'clock. Grace and peace unto you. Shall I tell you what brought me to Jesus? Oh, yes. What caused me to see? His holy face He was there To save and To cleanse me Oh yes he was He just Put himself In my place He just Put himself in my place Yes, he did 
He just put himself in my place To God be all the glory I'll tell that wonderful story How he just put himself in my place He bore my grief in the garden Oh, thank God he did And my sins he carried to that holy tree I was lost and condemned to the judgment Oh, yes, I was but he died on the cross, oh, just for me. Can you help me now? He just put himself in my place. He just put himself. again in all his glory oh thank God he is oh the prophets of God all agree but until then I'll tell that gospel story oh yes I will That cross of Calvary. Come on and sing it now. He just put himself in my place. So yes, he he just put himself. Hallelujah, we bless him this morning. Hey, if you're on the road, be cautious. Wait on the road inside the Tri City area. Morning to my beautiful wife. Hallelujah. Mommy Williams, good morning to you. Hallelujah. All the folks on the phone lines, good morning to you. 213-493-0146. All those who have downloaded the app, Choice Gospel Radio. We bless God for you this morning. Thank you so much. How he just put himself in my place. Oh man. Wow. Should I play it again? Should I play it again? I'm going to read this. I'm going to play it again. Hallelujah. Psalms 86 said, Bow down thy air, O Lord. Hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou, my God, save thy servant that trusted in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. 
for thou lord art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee give air o lord unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications in the day of my trouble i will call upon thee for thou wilt answer me among the gods there is none like unto thee o lord neither are there any works like unto thy works hallelujah all nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee o lord and shall sh glory and glorify thy name for thou art great and doest wondrous things hallelujah thou art god alone teach me thy way o lord i will walk in thy truth unite my heart to fear thy name i will praise thee o lord my god with all my heart and i will glorify thy name forevermore for great is thy mercy towards me and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell O oh God, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O oh Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. O oh, turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaid. Show me a token of good token for good sorry that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou lord has helped me and comforted me we bless you once again he put himself in my place if you get in there for eight keep moving god is with you 723 arise in the morning your life your salvation your choice choice radio my good friend all the way to spice grenada good morning to you Shall I tell you what brought me to Jesus, oh yes, what caused me to see His holy face, He was there to save and to cleanse me. Oh yes he was He just Put himself In my place He just Put himself In my place Yes he did He just Put himself In my to God be all the glory I'll tell that wonderful story How he just put himself in my place He bore my grief in the garden Oh, thank God he did And my sins He carried to That holy tree I was lost And condemned to The judgment Oh, yes, I was but he died on the cross, oh, just for me. Can you help me now? He just put himself in my place. He just put himself in my place. Hallelujah. In my place, 
listen to me now He's coming back again In all his glory Oh, thank God he is Oh, the prophets of God all agree But until then, I'll tell that gospel story. Oh, yes, I will. How he died on that cross of Calvary. Come on and sing it now. He just put himself in my place. So, oh, yes, he he just put himself in my place. Shout it to God. Be the glory. Keep singing that wonderful story. Hallelujah. Oh man, the time is really moving. Put himself As we bless him this morning. In my place. Is if you any one is you, sir. You gotta sing it one more time. He just put himself in my place. Thank God. Oh, we bless him this morning. He just put himself in my place. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Oh yes, amen, amen and amen, amen, 28 minutes past the 7 o'clock, it's called a rise in the morning, hallelujah, all those on the roads, good morning to you, wherever you are, all those on the phone lines, 213-493-0146 on the dial up, all those on the app, all over the world, wherever you are, we greet you in the mighty name of Jesus, that name that is above every name as we continue reading here in romans 1 16 for i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believe it to the jew first and also to the greek for therein is the righteousness of god revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith hallelujah amen you got your faith in jesus this morning that's all you need this morning. We thank thee each morning for a newborn day where we may work the fields of new mown hay. We thank thee for the sunshine and the air that we breathe, O oh Lord. We thank thee. Thank thee for the river that run all day Thank thee for the little birds that sing along the way Thank thee for the trees and the deep blue sea Oh Lord We thank thee Oh yes, we thank thee Lord for every flower that blooms Birds that sing that swim and the light of the moon we thank thee every day as we kneel and pray that we were born with eyes to see these things thank thee for the fields where the clover is grown thank thee for the pastures where cattle may roam thank thee for thy love so pure and free, oh Lord, we thank Thee. Oh yes, we thank Thee, Lord, for every flower that blooms, birds that sing, fish that swim, and the light of the moon. 
We thank Thee every day as we kneel and pray That we were born with eyes to see these things Yes, we thank Thee for the fields where the clothes grow Thank Thee for the pastures where cattle Shift the atmosphere this morning. It's a rise in the morning. Good morning to you. If you get in there for eight, you gotta keep moving. Time is not gonna wait. Be 
cautiously if you're on the roads this morning. We greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is a blessed day to be alive in the land of the living. Let's acknowledge him. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And those who have received him, I know you know what I mean. Experiencing the love of God. So we have shifted the atmosphere with the worship this morning. Go out there and let somebody know that Jesus lives, rules and reigns in your heart. Hallelujah. Let somebody experience Christ through you today. There is a candle in every soul Some brightly burning and some dark and cold And there is a spirit who brings a fire Ignites a candle and makes his own Carry your candle Run to the darkness Seek out the helpless Confused and torn And hold out your candle For all to see it Take your candle And go light your world Take your candle Frustrated brother, see how he's tried to light his own candle some other way. See now your sister, she's been robbed and lied to, still holds a candle without a flame. hearts are blazing so let's raise our candles and light up the sky praying to our father in the name of jesus make us a beacon in darkest times
indeed and lighting that candle is what he wants us to do light that candle as you go there as a believer in Christ light that candle that someone can see light the way out of darkness amen we bless God thank him for Jesus a new day in the land of the living it's a rise in the morning and the time is moving so fast man wow sometimes it's amazing to believe amen 741 if you get in there for eight keep moving let's continue reading a few pieces here and there ephesians 2 and you had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience among whom also we had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh fulfilling the desires of our flesh and of the mind and were by nature the children of wrath even as others but god who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins had quickened us together with christ by grace ye are saved and had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in christ jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kingdom towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Hallelujah. We bless him this morning. We thank him. We thank him. What a wonderful, merciful Savior. And if you know you've been saved, let's bless him this morning. Because there is nothing, nothing, nothing more appealing to you and your soul than knowing that there's a difference in your life because of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. of 
If you're going for eight, keep moving. It's a rise in the morning on Church Radio. Investor, good morning.
what a beautiful rendition that's what we need a broken heart amen a broken heart and we need holiness unto the lord amen so as you step out there this morning we ask you to light your candle as you go out there to tell somebody about jesus you will be surprised at what an impact you can make by just telling somebody or asking them have you received jesus are you born again you will be you will be shocked and amazed that's why i always ask you guys to tell somebody about jesus don't be scared of their faces don't be scared of who they are amen first of all as a believer you project jesus christ on your job wherever you go you let them see the character of christ you try your best to live a life that make them know that you're different you know what i mean hallelujah and then tell them about jesus you will be surprised you give them some homework to go and do to find out who is this jesus why would this person tell me about jesus hallelujah so as you go out there today in the name of jesus tell somebody about christ six more minutes to the top of the eight o'clock grace and peace unto you what a beautiful morning as we thank you for another day another year the land of the living far away from home and the cold starts to blow when i'm empty and alone i turn to you in my heart and I can't see the truth And I'm wandering in the dark I turn to you And here in your holy presence It's so Let's turn to him, let's turn to him and give him praise. Let's turn to him, amen. 
Hallelujah. As we climb to the 8 o'clock this morning, we definitely thank you so much. All the family and friends who listen habitually. I want to see what you see. Hallelujah. And I want to hear what you hear. I'm going to speak what you speak. It is in heaven. I want to say what you say. We learn how to walk in your way. After 8 is arise in the morning, hallelujah, we bless God for Jesus. Definitely a pleasure having you, whoever you are this morning, tuning into Choice Radio. Your life, your salvation, your choice. All those on the website, www.choicegospelnetwork.com. All those on the app, Choice Gospel Radio. All those on the phone lines, 213-493-0146. 
It is definitely a pleasure coming to you guys in the name of Jesus as we continue to ask him to use us for his honor and his glory, especially for what he has done in our life. We continue to bless God. Amen. And we just thank you so much. Amen. For listening. And we hope that you are blessed by what is presented on Choice Radio, especially through me when we come on the radio. Amen. As we come to lift him up to thank him and to look at his word and see what he's saying and see if we can help to strengthen each other that we can fulfill his great commission. There is a reading here in, in Matthew 28. Matthew 28 and 16 he says, Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted and jesus came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i will i am with you always even to the end of the world and amen Hallelujah. One translation says, um, the New International Version said, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And um, what I want to talk, talk about this morning, I just want to bring out to you out there in Radio Land um, concerning discipleship. You know what I mean? And it seems like many people who read the Bible and understand the mission of God and the mission of Jesus Christ and you know many people get very caught up and you know they sort of like the sort of approach that the Jehovah Witnesses have by being on the street because I guess they understand that fundamental principle that God is interested in saving the souls of men so then now we have to find out among ourselves are we disciples are we being disciples or how can we become disciples as God has commanded us to be disciples and what would propel us to being what God has called us to be or to doing what he has asked us to go into all the world and tell the whole nation hallelujah so it couldn't be just the preacher alone because the preacher is you know one location I mean uh, one preacher per church I mean poor locality and you know but I guess the idea and the concept is which I know that's what it is is that everyone who have received from God and come to God in a relationship with God as they have received the Holy Spirit it now will propel them to become a disciple to somebody else as much as you can give them but you are able to ignite something in them and we have many scriptural references that speak that one man plant and another man water and God give the increase so it would come from the same line of conversation that as much as you cannot probably impart all the word to somebody or tell them all that they need to know you are able to plant a seed in that person's life hallelujah and I think it's very important for the believer to understand that we need to be you know where God wants us to be as a believer in him and and be where his mission is saving the souls of men and I say that because every day I meet people that is wow they're just waiting to hear and you know even if they've heard before hearing from me again it is a confirmation of what they have heard before previously from somebody else so the point is are we all are we all really doing what God has commanded us and as Jesus said teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and what Jesus have commanded what Jesus has commanded. He said, All power is given unto me, first of all, and now I command you. He said, New commandment I give you, love the Lord thy God, and you know, love the Father, and everything else. So this is the commandment that Jesus Christ has given us. And then he said he will send the Holy Spirit, and when he come, the Holy Spirit will be a witness that we are disciples. Hallelujah. So then it has that reference really and truly is not speaking from a religious perspective, or I mean, and if any religion is involved, then of course then the principle still applies to every religion so then whoever you are if you are in christ and his christ is in you and you are born again and we are told to go out and teach all nations then every nation to be teaching about jesus that he is the savior hallelujah amen so we just want to spark each other today concerning doing what god has asked us to do and propelling ourselves to do because 
the, the time is running out and a lot of people do not know about Jesus and we want to awaken us. Are we being obedient to God? Are we doing enough? Are we telling people about Jesus? Are we impacting people with the gospel? Are we planting a seed? Are we even whispering to our neighbors or somebody we know about Jesus that he can save your soul? Hallelujah. So as we open the phone line, we're going to break bread with a few scriptures as we just want to encourage you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. The, three, the phone line is open. 347-663-8638. And today we're speaking about discipleship. Hallelujah. Bless God. We give him praise, honor, and glory today. We thank him. He's a mighty God. And we thank him for what he has done in our life. And as I always say, I, I encourage everyone to experience the tangible transformation of born again. Hallelujah. God wants us to know that we are in the faith. He wants us to know that we are born again. Let's intercept that first caller. Caller, grace and peace unto you. Good morning. Good morning. Grace and peace to you. Actually, I do apologize first. I actually am not calling on the program today, but I just want to say happy birthday to you, my dear husband. Uh, and um, I, I want to actually say a little prayer for you. I hope you don't mind. Um, do you? No, of course. Okay, so happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. Um, dear Lord, Hallelujah. in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I Hallelujah. pray for my husband, Foster, today. May you fill his heart with joy as you continue to remind him of your love for him. Reveal to him always his values and purpose. I pray that you, my Lord, will continue to build up and transform him into the man you desire him to be. I pray against the temptation that tries to lure his heart into sin. I claim freedom from bondage and freedom from darkness. In Jesus, the Son of our Most High God and Savior of the world, I pray that he matures in his role always, my husband, and equip him to lead us through your ways in Jesus name Amen and of course I send you a beautiful song that I want you to play for yourself it's from me to you happy birthday thank you so much and I appreciate it very much I love you love you Amen. Love you too. thank Bye -bye. you so alright Amen alright so that's my wife Wishing me happy birthday. God bless you, my wife. Amen. Ten minutes on the other side of the eight o'clock, and we definitely thank God for my wife. Amen. And thank God for all wives. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God. We bless him. We bless him. We bless him. Hallelujah. So um, concerning discipleship and as being believers in Christ, and I'm always tempted to speak on that, on this wise, you know. The reason why there is so much religion and denomination, something has to be wrong. If we all are in Christ and Christ is one, how come we are projecting from different angles? How come we are pointing to different places, claiming that we know him that is one, one father? Hallelujah. Amen. So as we're talking about discipleship, hallelujah, first of all, we must have that which should give us the desire to tell people about Jesus and not about religion or denomination, but that the Savior of the world has come. Hallelujah, that we can be redeemed, our soul can be saved from the pits of hell. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's very important for us to know that we know that we know. Hallelujah, that we are in the will of God and we are children of God. We are obedient to the Spirit of God and we have received the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. I know sometimes it might sound strange and to some people it might sound like, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say you did it? No, I'm, t I'm just saying concerning the scriptures if we are in the body of christ and if we are in christ there are certain things expected from the body of christ if you be a believer there is something that is expected from you or of you that says that i am this hallelujah so it's not just identifying with a church or religion or organization god wants us to know because the bible speaks that is a seal hallelujah a seal of the believer hallelujah is in christ let's go back to the phone Call a grace and peace. Good morning to you. Praise Jesus, my brother. Did I hear it's your birthday? <laughs> we give him praise. Yes. I thank, I thank, birthday, I thank my wife. My minister. Hallelujah. I Bless God. Many blessings upon your life. Stay strong. Keep sweet. And keep doing the work of God because your reward is waiting for you. Hallelujah. Praise we God. bless him. Thank you so much. And if you're going to comment on the same time, I think that's my wife, Dad, but 
concerning oh, discipleship, right? Yes, discipleship, yes. Yes, praise God. The Bible says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And if you are sweetly saved and enjoying your life, your Christian life, this is what you're supposed to be doing if you're really saying you're living for God and you know the purpose of soul being saved. It's automatic. Anywhere you go, you want to tell somebody about Jesus. Somebody told us at some point, like you said, all plants are full of water, but God keeps the input. Somebody's out there waiting for us to just tell them. Yesterday I was in the laundromat and a lady was before me and she was busy doing her laundry and I was busy also. And I wanted to talk to her, but I said she's doing her laundry. When she finished, I don't mind just waiting to talk to her a little bit, but I didn't. And then it came on that the view was on while we were there. And I don't watch the view, but they came up with something about, talking about some lady and she being Christian and something was going on with them. I'm not sure about it. But then they were talking about everybody, you can take different ways and get to heaven and stuff like that. And that kind of picked me up and I had to start talking and I was just talking there and she was just attentive looking at me and I started speaking to her and she said her mom always tell her these things. That means her mom tried to see. Now, I put a little water on it and now she seems like she wanted to take this further. She was like, there's nothing else out there to hold on to. So, you know, that could make the next step going into even church. And that's the beginning right there. So it's our duty to go out and tell somebody about Jesus Christ. We have to do that. This is our mission to save souls, to bring souls to the kingdom. So, uh, how do you relate to doing it um, as you relate to the zeal? What puts that zeal into you as a believer? What makes you different from the other believer who came that day he or she is a believer and is not doing that? I'm sorry, you were a little bit low. Can you yeah, yeah, I'm saying what do you think makes the difference in terms of what, pro what propels you or what projects you to want to tell people? I mean, what's, what's the difference between you and somebody? Oh. What's, what do you think is the difference? Okay, you know what, Minister Stricker, it's just in me. I cannot give what I don't have. Because sometimes I just feel a certain way and I still want to say something, but I don't. But it's something that is normal. It's normal when you start living that Christian life, when you really make this promise to go on, you, you are dedicated. It's automatic, Minister Stricker. Once so, Christ is in you, it's automatic. So it just comes automatic to me when I see somebody. I just want to tell them. It's not no show you put on. I say, okay, what should I say to them? I said, Jesus loves you. And they will look at me like, you know, and I said, yes. And there's more to you than you know. And automatically just put words in your mouth. So that's how I go at it. So, so would you, I mean, this is what I'm, I always say in terms of, you know, the Holy Spirit being in you and knowing that he is in you. And I speak it sometimes and I, you know, sometimes I know people take things in a kind of resentful way or they listen and think, well, who you think you are, you know? But I mean, what do you think about, you know, you hear me talk like that from time to time, but I'm talking because I've been on the street, I've been out there and I've been saved. And I know the difference of when Christ is in you in comparison to you, you just believe the Bible or you believe there is a God. I know that there is a difference that happens in you as the Bible prescribes. Amen, amen. You see, you have a testimony. You have a testimony. And this is why it's, it's, it's an urgency to hold on to our testimony because if you start forgetting our testimony, it's like everything just happens. And I say, oh, it's life and things happen. But things don't just happen. God has worked a work in us. So when we hold on to this and we know that it's the power of God, we are able to steer everything that happened. And when we believe the word of God, we say it's not then, but it's now. So yes, this is what we hold on to our testimony as we are witness. We, we have a testimony to share. Hallelujah. So it's important that we all understand that we cannot just pretend or settle for less. We want to make sure we have all the things that God said we should have to really make sure that we are really in His will according to His word. Amen?
Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Because we are, we are made perfect in Him, and as long as we are in Him, I'm trying and continuing to do His will by going by what His Word says. Yes, you can make it. You got endure to the end, so you see it. Hallelujah. Thank you for the call and thank you for so much for wishing me. Happy no, birthday. God, God bless you. Bless Amen. You. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 347-663-8638. If you're out there in Radio Land and you want to come in this morning, like I said, I just want to be to be sober this morning and reflecting on this discipleship as the you know the word of God speaks. And as the young lady was speaking and she was speaking something, and we have a reference here in um Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians um, one and and and, and first yeah, okay Second Corinthians two he said but 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 as God is true one word towards you was not yea and nay for the Son of God Jesus Christ who was preached among you by us even by me and Sylvanus and Timothy was not yea and nay but in him was yea. For all promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by us. Now he which established, established us with you in Christ, and had anointed us in God, who had also sealed us, and given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Hallelujah. Amen. So, this uh, the scripture is saying so many things and um, I want us to be sober as we listen to the program and whenever you listen to the radio just be sober don't don't just you know well you listening because you already have an opinion and you don't want to you know um, let's be open let's be open to the word of God you know let's be open to the word of God remember God is coming for a people he's coming for a peculiar people he's coming for a people that is set apart I mean that's gonna go across the barrier of religion denomination and country of origin and tongues and color and whatever it's gonna be a peculiar people that God is gonna be coming for based on the word of God that is how that have his seal hallelujah Amen. So we have to make sure that we are sober about what the God is saying and not what religion is saying, what not what everybody else is saying, but what the word of God is saying. Hallelujah. And whatever our lifestyle projects, it must project according to what the Bible says about the disciples of God. Amen. So this is what I just want to bring up. We we have a few scriptural references that pertain to it because like I said, in my growing up there were many people who claimed to be religious or be Christians or claim to be whatever denomination, whatever. But there was nothing about, they never told me about Christ. They never project Christ to me. And even if I'd been around them, they never talk about Jesus. They talk normal like everybody, everyday person in the world. And if they come around people who's in the world, they switch into the, the character and the mood of the people in the world. They talk with them the same way. And I guess when they go to church, then they switch into the church mood and they speak as a church people. Hallelujah. And as we read the word of God, we understand that this is totally contrary to the word of God. Amen. So we, we just want to be sober as we present this presentation for every man to find out for yourself. Because the Bible speaks of the devil that he is out there to deceive and make people believe that they have something that they don't have. Hallelujah. If you know you have it, you have it. And that's nothing wrong. And that's really what it is. Because we have to try every spirit and see if every spirit presents Jesus. If every spirit brings us to that place of salvation, that we now have the seed to plant in somebody else. Because this is the way it has been designed by the Bible. That one man have it, he give it to another man. Another man plant it into another man. And another man plant it into another one. And it keeps going down the line. If you're doing radio land and you want to chime in this morning concerning this question of discipleship as the Bible has said. And many people, I know they are excited to be a part of the things of God when they understand the basic fundamental principle of salvation or the fundamental principle of, principle of discipleship or the mission of God. And many people get into the Jehovah Witnesses because why? They see something in them physically. Hallelujah. They see a physical application that applies to the Bible. Not every physical application is an asset concerning the preaching of the gospel, but they see them on the street 
And people see them out there. People see them in your face. They're not saying nothing to you really. They just have their stuff. But the point is at least to people who understand the basic principle that Jesus Christ came that we all can be a part of the ministry of, of God to tell others about Jesus Christ. You, you know, people will come into that religion from just from that fundamental point of point of view. And then they get in and they have to be indoctrinated with the entire doctrine that, that religion preaches. Even if it's not consistent with the whole, you, you know, you know, canon of, of the gospel for discipleship as it would really bring people to Christ who is the Savior. But the point is they have something. And I always said that before, every religion has something tangible or something that they can quote and say, yes, the Bible says that. And then, of course, there are applications in the Bible that can support it to say, well, that's why we do it this way or that's why we do that and we do that and that. Hallelujah. But it must be something that is rounded and grounded in the word of God as it contained in the scripture concerning our salvation and getting other people saved. Amen. If you're doing radio line and you want to chime in this morning, give us a call concerning discipleship. If you're a disciple, if your church is making disciples, do you feel like a disciple? I want to see. And how can we be disciples, be disciples or better disciples? Hallelujah. 347. 663-8638. I'm gonna speak what you speak. Declaring your will in the earth as it is in heaven. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. I'm gonna pray what you pray. And as you're stepping out this morning, Declaring your will. put on that cap of salvation, that discipleship hat on your head. Let somebody know Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Give us a call 347-663-8638 I want you to give us a call and share you this morning If you want to share concerning discipleship If you are a disciple Hallelujah If you have the zeal, the fire of God To tell somebody out there in Radio Land That Jesus is a real That their soul need to be saved And are you concerned in their salvation 347-663-8638 First of all, as we say in the seal of God that he said he will give us, it's something that we have to know that we have that seal. Hallelujah. Amen. We have that seal. And the Bible speaks of not grieving the Holy Spirit. Well, to grieve the Holy Spirit, you must first have it. Hallelujah. Amen. We must have proof that we have the Holy Spirit. Then we can be concerned about grieving the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And, and let me say this. Every religion carry a spirit about it. Every denomination has a spiritual pool that keeps you away from the truth of God. I'm telling you. And anytime you indulge in any one of them, hallelujah, and you try to get too curious about any one of them, something takes you over. Something comes over you. And you have to be, you have to be strong enough to shake it off. A prayers have to help you to shake it off to come back to Jesus. To stay there because every doctrine is governed by a spirit. Believe it or not. I'm going to tell you the honest God truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 347-663-8638. We're talking about discipleship this morning. And being disciples of Jesus Christ as we claim to be believers and we are believers. 
in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Discipleship. We're talking about discipleship this morning. Hallelujah. Telling people about Jesus as a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you want to share with us this morning, go ahead and give us a call. Amen. A fire in your life to tell the good news of salvation. Or is there no fire? No zeal? Hallelujah. What do you see? Yes, Jesus. And I want to hear what you hear. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. I'm going to speak what you speak. Declaring your will in the earth as it is in heaven. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. Don't be shy. Don't be intimidated. If you want to share something on the conversation this morning, we're talking about the Bible scriptures. Speaking of discipleship, God has called us to tell everybody else that they are gonna perish if they have not received the Son Jesus. And the believers are so polarized by religion, you know what I mean? That if it's not their religion on the radio, we got to talk like that because that's really what it is. But if we are in Christ, we are one in Jesus for what concerns Him. And once we speak in the Bible, the Word of God, there should be one voice in unification for Jesus Christ. Do you see what Jesus sees? Four seven six six three eight six three eight. Hallelujah.
man, I was just loving this right there. Amen, amen, and amen. It's a rise in the morning, 33 minutes after the hour of 8 o'clock. If you're getting there for 9, keep moving. Hallelujah. We're just touching a little bit on discipleship this morning and talking from the Bible's perspective. Once we are born again, we are called to duty for the Lord. We are called to duty for our Almighty Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Revelation, Revelation 9 and 4, he said, And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The seal of God in their foreheads. Hallelujah. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And the torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he strike it a man. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God for Jesus. We thank him. The seal of the servants of God, those who have served God. Amen. So it means we are called to serve in the kingdom. Hallelujah. We are called to serve in the kingdom of God to let people know about salvation. Amen. So those who are sealed, as they said in Revelation, hallelujah, sealed the servants, servants and sealed, hallelujah. So we need to be servants that we can be sealed as servants of God. How do we serve him? By preaching the news, telling people, being disciples for him. Because that is the calling, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. If you're only in Radio Land this morning, and you want to share concerning discipleship as being a believer and having that zeal, that fire to tell people about Christ. I want to see what do you see. Yes. And I want to hear what do you hear. gonna speak what you speak declaring your will in the earth as it is in heaven in the morning what a beautiful rendition I love it do you love it what be in a good mood this morning man hallelujah we bless God and we're speaking about discipleship as we look into the word of God and see what the Bible is saying and of course we must know that there's something wrong with all religions and so much religions and saying that they worship the same God and God is living one message from since he came it has been one message. Let's read again and see what the Bible is saying. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 5. And let's go from 5 to 5. Okay. For we are in this tabernacle. Okay. Good. All right. Let's take it from 5 and 4. He said, For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened for not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon hallelujah that more mortality might be swallowed up of life it is now he that had wrought us for the self same thing is god who also had given unto us the earnest of the spirit 
Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor, wherefore we labor, wherefore we labor, that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we labor, 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 labor for the Lord. If we're talking about works, well, the works have to be evangelizing. That's what the works is. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Father still works. Hallelujah. So the works of God, according to Jesus, to, according to our calling, who are called by the Holy Spirit God, as we have received the seal of the Holy Ghost, then therefore we are called to labor for the kingdom. Then we have that hope. Hallelujah. As we are absent, we are present and we are confident. As the Bible said, we are confident. And there is a confidence in a believer that is really on fire for the Lord that I see exhibited many times. People who are, they just have, there is a confidence, there is a fire going on with people that is vocal and verbal for the Lord. There is a sincere, real fire going on. And I'm saying this to say that we all are called to try every spirit. Hallelujah. And as a believer, we have to try our spirit and find out are we in the faith? Hallelujah. Am I in the faith? How do I know I'm in the faith? How do I know I'm sealed for the day of redemption? How do I know? Every man who believes in God, God is not a man that he should lie. He wants us to know that we know that we are in the faith. Being in a church does not mean that you are in the faith. Hallelujah. Amen. And God wants us to know that we are truly in the faith. Hallelujah. Might be a different level of intensity based on who you are. But you know what? You will know that I am in the faith. Hallelujah. And the point about God and serving God, we must yield ourselves. God don't force you. He's given you the power, but you have to activate the power. So you might have it. I'm not, nobody's saying that nobody doesn't have the spirit, but you have to yield or will yourself to use the spirit by being obedient to God. And God is going to put that fire and that word in your mouth. Hallelujah. But you must be willing to open your mouth. Hallelujah. You must be willing to open your mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. To speak for God and speak on his behalf. Because he said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So you, must, you have to try it and see if truly greater is he that is in you. But you must have to will it. He's not going to jump out of you like that. Hallelujah. You still have a free will. When you receive Jesus Christ, you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart, you shall be saved. Yes. True. But you have to yield yourself to perform for God that God can activate in you hallelujah and many times I speak to people concerning you know speaking in tongues and stuff like that you must be willing you must have faith in God believe that those things are what they are and you start speaking to God and yielding yourself open to God your whole heart and then the Holy Spirit jump out and start speaking hallelujah so one of the same applications that applies to the things of God that you have to be willing as a believer to be obedient as the Bible speak earlier on we were reading that that you have to be obedient to God as a believer to do what he has commanded you see as he has commanded as we read in Matthew 28 19 that he said that we should be disciples and going to all nations well if you say you are a believer and you're not interested in going to all nations first of all that's a major major problem and it's a it's a it's a, it's a point of being disobedient because the Bible said to whom much is given much is required you might be placed on a job right now strategically to bring somebody who can spend probably millions for the things of God but it's your duty to first speak life into them and to inject that seed into them so you might be on a job now some way strange strange people whatever it is but God has strategically put you there that you can plant that for seed that that seed is going to germinate into something that that person, God, is going to use you to bring them out into marvelous light. And don't care who you are, where you're from, what is your upbringing and your status in life and stuff like that and family bringing up and financial status or whatever it is. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with God. You don't have to feel that you have to be this or that to impart a word to somebody. Hallelujah. So first of all, you must be interested in 
doing exploits for the kingdom of God. And this is what we're saying. So it does not mean that you probably don't have the Holy Spirit. But you must be willing to will the Spirit. Hallelujah. I've always seen it happen. You say, Father, let your will be done in my life. I'm going to go there. Speak for me, God. Let me speak. Have your way in my life. And trust me. <laughs> you know, he might not do it the way you thought you might have done it. But he's going to do it the way it should be done. Hallelujah. Because he knows all things. Hallelujah. So what we're saying to you now, you might be out there and feel well. I'm not a speaky person. I'm not a talky-talky person. That's what you think. The Holy Spirit is not silent. Being born again is not a passive thing. You don't just get saved to just save yourself alone. You are saved to serve. As we read a few scriptures and we tell you about it. And sometimes you might sit there and say, Well, I'm just saved and I'm just saved. Well, you could be saved and be in disobedience. Because God is a spirit. And wherever you are, another person is not at that same place. And God wishes for none to perish. Hallelujah. So wherever you go, God is seeking to save the soul of somebody. Hallelujah. So we all have to be willing and obedient to serve in the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. 347-663-8638. If you're out there in Radio Land and you want to just share this morning concerning discipleship, as God has called every one of us to tell somebody, at least plant the seed. We're not saying you have to save them and you could force them to go to church, but no. What do you see? And I want to hear What do you hear? I'm going to speak What do you speak? Declaring your will in the earth As it is in heaven Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. Learn how to walk in your way. I want you to take this conversation very, very, very serious this morning. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways understand God. Let God be God in your life. Hallelujah. As you listen to this program today. Hallelujah. We're speaking about a seal and we have mentioned this seal in 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 in, in the book of Corinthians. Hallelujah. And it is true that God is not a man that he should lie. A lot of us, we talk about that. We say that. And the application that we're speaking about has to be in the whole context of scriptures. If God say he give you something, there must be tangible proof that he has given it to you. If he said you are something, there will be evidence that you are who God say you are. And this is what I'm trying to say this morning. Sometimes we are so consumed by religion and denominations and we want to align ourselves with people and things and places and traditions that we forget the fundamental things that God have said that represent those who believe in me not in church not in religion not in denomination hallelujah and we have to have an open heart concerning God concerning the Word of God hallelujah hallelujah amen so this is what I'm saying concerning discipleship and trying to probe into the situation to find out really are you born again are you born with this of the spirit are you born of the water are you really immersed have you been immersed how do you know what proof do you have hallelujah so we're just saying in general as the, the bible is showing us god sent his son and through the son he have selected the people called apostles and disciples and sent them out. And he have given them a commission. And in the end of his commission, there was the word, Amen and Amen. It was final that this is what God wanted. He said, I must go. Remember, Jesus Christ was one man in one location at a time. All power was, was given unto him, but he was one man, physical man, in one location at a time. But he said he must go, that the Spirit will come. That when the Spirit come, he can manifest his presence all over the world. In every island of the sea, God can be in all places at all times. That why, that's why they didn't understand the mystery 
of the word of God and the mystery. He said, I'm going to destroy this temple, raise it in three days. They had no clue what he was talking about because the temple is in us. Hallelujah. That temple was going to be, you know, you know, broken down pillars and all and then raised up in us who have received him. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm saying, brethren, you out there in Radio Land, whoever we are, let us make sure that we have received the seal of approval from Almighty God as being servants of the Most High God in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So we're speaking about discipleship. Hallelujah. Are you a disciple? And many times people talk about the commandments of God. Well, this is the command that, that Jesus has given. You know, this is the command that he has given to man to go out and make disciples. Really and truly, that's really what it is. That's the command. Because remember, God wishes for none to perish. Hallelujah. Everything else is secondary. He wishes for none to perish. Whatever we feel we ought to do and do and do. The point is, doing, 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 whatever, whatever does not save anybody. Hallelujah. Amen. So the key is, Jesus has given us this commission to go out into all the world and preach all nations. Hallelujah. And that's why, like I said before, there is something about the Jehovah Witness presence on the street that incites men, passes by. Even if they don't get the right word, they don't get the real word, they don't get the true word of Jesus, there is something that makes you, as a person passing by, give them some sort of credit. Because any man who have read the Bible in any level, whatever it is, understand and believe that any man who is proclaiming Jesus has to be vocal and visual at the same time. Many people understand that. Hallelujah. So we who have the truth and we who know about the spirit and we who understand what the gospel is all about and what salvation calls for or what is the call of salvation for man, we are called to do something. To do something like what they're doing. But just, just, just to bring the right message. Just to bring the right message. Hallelujah. Because like I said, the devil can use every different denomination to present something that has some value in some way some shape some form that people can be conformed to but is it the truth concerning the remnant that God is coming for that believe in, in the son Jesus and has become disciples of the son Jesus and is now presenting themselves as living sacrifice unto the Lord in the world hallelujah amen so this is what we are speaking about this morning and we want every one of us under the sound of my voice to look into the scriptures find out am i fulfilling the great commission of god am i being an instrument to be used by god in my life as i claim to be a follower of jesus amen hallelujah nine minutes before nine Oh, glory. Oh, yes. I want to see. Oh, yes. What do you oh, yes. see? Oh, yes. I want to hear. Oh, yes. What do you hear? I'm going to speak. What do you speak? Declaring your will in the earth. As it is in heaven I want to say what you say
347-663-8638 Color Rise in the morning All those on the roads, good morning guys We preach in the mighty name of Jesus As we encourage you to come Come taste and see that the Lord is good Come see why you need to be born again Come The Spirit say come Six more minutes to nine o'clock. As it is in Hallelujah. Let's take another reference from Second Corinthians. If you have your Bible, mark up these locations and take a look with me. If you're a believer, whoever you are, take a look at the scriptures and see what it's saying. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, What has been hidden from the wise and prudent shall be revealed to the babes and the suckling. Hallelujah. Consider yourself a babe this morning as we thank him for being babes. Amen. That things can be revealed to us. Hallelujah. That we can really be what he wants us to be. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Amen. Second Corinthians 1 and 17. When I therefore was thus minded, comma, did I use likeness? Question. Or the things that I purpose? Comma. Do I purpose according to the flesh? That with me there should be yea, and yea, and nay, and nay. But as God is true, our word toward you was not yea and nay. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me and Silvanus and Timothy, and Timothy, was not yea or nay, but in him was yea, for all promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God by us hallelujah so as we see this the Bible said to walk in the spirit that he might not fulfill the lust of the flesh now you as an individual might see certain people and feel well I'm not gonna talk to them because he or she doesn't look like me doesn't come from my country you know they don't go to my church or that person is not whatever what you you want to think in your in your flesh but as we see the scripture here relating that we are told that we need to yield to the spirit and not to the flesh to the application of obedience to God by the spirit hallelujah as we project to do his will and not our will according to the will of the flesh hallelujah amen he said well when I therefore was thus minded amen did I use likeness or the things that I purpose do I purpose according to the flesh? We can sometimes purpose to the flesh. Hallelujah. If we get caught up in the flesh. Hallelujah. Because we are in this world. We have emotions and feelings and stuff like that. And many times we operate or we can yield to allow that flesh dominate what we really want to be as children of God. Hallelujah. But as he's saying here, the Paul writes here, he said, I purpose according to the flesh. He's saying, do I purpose according to the flesh? that with me there should be yea yea or nay and nay hallelujah amen but as god is true amen our word towards you was not yea and nay for the son of god jesus christ who was preached among you by us even by me and sylvanus and timothy was not yea and nay but in him was yea Amen. For all promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God by us. You hear this? Now he which establisheth us with you in Christ, hallelujah, and hath anointed us in God, amen, who had also sealed us, amen, sealed us and given the earnest of the spirit in our heart hallelujah believe in your heart confess with your mouth thou shall be saved well if you believed in your in your heart you confess with your mouth moreover i continue in 23 moreover i call god for a record upon my soul that i spare you hallelujah i came not as yet unto corinth hallelujah not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy. For by faith ye stand. By faith ye stand. Hallelujah. Amen. But I determined this with myself. 
that I would not come again to you in heaviness. Hallelujah. Amen. For if I make you sorry, who is he then that maketh me glad? Hallelujah. But the same which is made sorry by me. Question is asking. Question. Because he's talking about the flesh wants to do or be whatever. But he has to yield to the spirit of the mission of God and do the will of God. Because he's saying, for if I make you sorry, and sorry can only be made by the flesh. Hallelujah. Who is he that maketh me glad? Hallelujah. But the same which is made sorry by me. Hallelujah. I wrote the same unto you less when I come, I should have sorrow from them of whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all, that my joy is the joy of you all. Hallelujah. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote unto you with many cheers. Hallelujah. Not that we should be grieved. Hallelujah. But that ye might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. Hallelujah. And that is the love that we should have abundantly of Christ for those who don't know Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're talking about discipleship this morning and we just want to speak on this. Because according to the word of God, this is what it constitutes the commandment of God to Jesus who is given all power. Hallelujah. He said, all power is given unto me. And he given them the command to go out into all the world and make disciples of all men and baptizing them in the name of Jesus. Yeah? Hallelujah. So, all this compiled together in talking about those who have kept the commandment and the testimony of Jesus well this is really what we're talking about here because the, the mission of God from the beginning of the world is to save the souls of men that have fallen hallelujah amen so now we have come into the mission of God through Jesus Christ and we are called to do the same thing because men are dying every day and going to hell hallelujah and who I come across you might not come across and who you come across I might not go yeah I'm just saying vice versa hallelujah so we are all called brethren to yield or will our spirit for the will of God in Jesus Christ and if you go out there today start to yield hallelujah as you reflect inside amen yield to God to tell somebody about Jesus be willing to let them know that Jesus is real and their soul need to be saved. Hallelujah. So somebody has to be willing. Somebody has to be willing. And God want us to be willing to yield to our father. That we can do the will. That he want us to will. Because he wish for none to perish. Hallelujah. And that's what is really, really important. You have to understand that if we look at our flesh. And we look at people's reaction. Or we judge them by how they appear or how they look and we make a distinction well if somebody's in the church i'm going to tell them about jesus or if somebody's close to a church or whatever i'm going to tell them about jesus but if they all day walk in the street i wouldn't tell them because he looked like a thug or she looked like a, a whatever she looked like or she looked a certain way so i'm not going to tell her about jesus because she looked a certain way or she's walking in the bank or she's wearing a certain i wouldn't tell her about jesus no no we cannot walk by the flesh we walk by the spirit because don't care how erratic somebody might react to you telling them about jesus whatever their response is it makes no difference to you the point is you have delivered the goods as led by the spirit of god you see if if i'm thinking well i go to a place and everybody's dressed up with suit and tie and because they are doing their official business i have to wait for them and i couldn't tell them or make some mention in some way some form some facet to spark some ignition in them then i'm walking after the flesh because you are led by the spirit of god hallelujah but everything in decency and, and in order but the point is once you are led by the spirit to say thus say the lord or to be what god wants you to be then by all means you are being obedient to the the commandment of god through jesus christ who all power was given unto Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God. Three minutes past nine. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. If you have a comment this morning you want to share with us. I want to 
Call your life. Good morning. Yes, good morning, brother. How are you? This I'm morning? doing great, my sister. I'm blessed in the name of the Lord. Yes, I thank you for your word. I thank you that God has called me to be a disciple. And as I am reading in Second Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen, that we who are called to go out there, that we know. Let me read it now. Thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge Amen. in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. That when we go out there, that they will smell the fragrance of Christ in our lives, that they would want that fragrance in their life too, that we could win them to the Lord. Isn't that precious? We are the fragrance. Hallelujah. That sweet smelling, that sweet smell that we have in us, which is Christ Jesus, that to those who are perishing, that they would want it, that sweet smell too. Amen. amen and amen and moreover my sister the key is about this whole context is that God just wanted to plant the seed there is a reference that Apollos one man plant and one man you know water and God give the increase so the point is we're not looking for the fruit to develop the same thing you never see a tree you plant a seed now and you get a crop but the point is we all have to be willing to plant seeds as we go and when you go somebody might already plant the seed but you come and you water hallelujah Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you for your call. Be blessed of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And we we continue that, that reading here in um, Second Corinthians, one of the reference on the of, of the scriptures this morning as we look at it. Triumphing in Christ. Now thanks be to God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ, and make it manifest the save the Savior of His knowledge by us in every place amen for we are unto god a sweet savor of christ in them that are saved hallelujah and in them that perish amen to the one to one we are the savor of death unto death and to the other the savor of life unto life hallelujah and who is sufficient for this things question for we are not as many which corrupt the word of God but as of sincerity but as of God in the sight of God speak we in Christ and you know as you unfold the scripture just looking at it from the from the from the surface it looks simple a lot of people talk more about their religion than Jesus the Savior Christ no you know God might call you to work in a certain area or be in a certain field and do certain things and expound on certain scriptures or do something whatever because he have called you there but the key element of salvation has to be around Jesus and every time we speak it must be about salvation in Jesus Christ because no man can come to the Father unless to Jesus Christ they cannot come no other means no other way however way we want to put it in our own brain we cannot come unless we come to Jesus Christ so as he said here to the one we are the saver death unto death death unto death they are already dead in sins and trespasses and you bring them to them religion and don't bring them Jesus they are in debt and you bring them further into debt because there are many people that is very religious and do not have the Holy Spirit they are not born again 
Hallelujah. Amen. They are not born again. And now, here it is. Let me show you what I'm talking about. For we, 15, for we are unto God a savor of Christ in them that are saved. Savor in Christ to them that are saved. It means if you are saved and you have the Holy Spirit, another man who has the Holy Spirit, you are a savor to him also. There will be no bickering concerning spiritual things as it relates to Jesus Christ. You see what I'm saying? So we can be so religious that you think in one, I'm thinking one. But look at this. The scripture is very clear. We are one in Christ. Amen. We are savor to each other. So now, 15, for we are in God a sweet savor of Christ in them that are saved. Hallelujah. And in them that perish. Them that perish, dead unto dead. Them that are alive in Christ, life unto life. When you and I meet and you are in Jesus and I'm in Jesus, trust me. We are forced to be reckoned with because we are on the same mission. No religion or denomination can come between us because we are one projection. In the word of, mode of two or three, let every word be established. So now, if you're speaking about Jesus, I'm speaking about Jesus, and somebody else come in the meads who don't know Jesus, two of us together can pull down the power of God. But if you're speaking from a different religious plane than I, we are divided. That is why... It's important to know that you have the seal of God, which is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. No religion could give you this. Hallelujah. You have to know that I am a child of God because I am projecting it out in my life. When I live, people know I speak Jesus. No man knows my religion. They will know my faith in Jesus. The last thing a man should know about you is what church you go to or which denominational circle you belong to. The first thing on you, the seal of God in Jesus Christ, that he have called every man to salvation to the cross of Christ. Hallelujah. And this is it. And that's why we're going to continue the scripture. And I'm going to show you something here in 17. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God in the sight of God speak we in Christ no man could be just saved by nothing else but by coming to Jesus Christ to the cross of Calvary no man no man could glory in nothing else but Jesus Christ and he said we must have the seal of God which is the Holy Spirit that will propel us into ministry into discipleship we must have it. That is the only way we can overcome the flesh and rise above to project the spirit of God. That's why the Bible tells you yield to the spirit. Submit to God. Resist the devil. Hallelujah. Sometimes we are so fleshly that we don't understand that we are quenching the spirit of God when we project religion, denomination, tradition over the simple call of the gospel that every man has to bow to Jesus Christ for his soul's redemption. Who Don't care who you are. Don't care how elaborate, educated, how godly you think you are, where your father was born, your mother have a church. <laughs> every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So this morning as we embark on this conversation concerning discipleship, I'm sparking this that we all need to find out am I in the faith? Have I received the seal of approval? And now don't feel bad, don't feel bad. You might have the seal but you need to activate it. Many times you might have a credit card somebody sent to you and hey, well the card is there but they told you you must call an 800 number to let that card become something that you can use as tangible means of buying or whatever you want to do so the same thing the bible is saying and you see god will use a lot of things right before your eyes and when you come before him at the great white throne you can't say you never understood that if is the way it worked he will tell you all your life you activated how many bank card what you trying to say you trying to what you you think i'm a fool who you think you think you're smarter than me what you think you know that you have to activate this thing you have activated things all your life Everything you wanted to do in your life, you deliberately got up and do it. You wanted a new shoe, you went online, you went shopping. 
you activated your desire what you trying to tell me you want to say you saved him and you didn't find out what else how do you confirm your seal of approval you just show up here today and talking and think I'm going I'm going to fall for your stuff that you gave man when you was on the world and you pretended you were all that you feel you could try the same thing with me I am Alpha I am Omega I am the beginning and the end hallelujah amen we bless God I tell you he's so mighty and awesome and we <laughs> Woo! hallelujah you can't fool him you can't mock him everything is there for you so as we speak about discipleship we're speaking about activating the seal of approval that tells you yes you have now become a son of God and a daughter of God and you are called into ministry according to discipleship sowing a seed probably putting a little water in a seed that has been planted by somebody else that we might get a crop from you hallelujah amen three four seven six six three eight six three if you're out in radio line you want to chime in this morning as a believer if you're already on your job like i said before god might have strategically placed you in a job you might think it's a job and thinking you know, oh it's a job you're making how much money but this is not the mission god has put you there that you can be sought in that family in that life that you are touching today in whatever capacity that God has put you among these people it's not just for work and making money you are called for a higher purpose in Christ Jesus as we speak hallelujah so ask God to lead you that you can inject what you need to inject as a child of God who claims to be of the kingdom hallelujah let us be what he wants us to be thank you Jesus What do you see? And I want to hear What do you hear? I'm going to speak What do you speak? Declaring your will in the earth As it is in heaven
give me a call 347 if you already have a comment concerning discipleship today and as always we say if we project the question and it's not the right way and it can be modified to maximize its potential by all means you call and let me know maybe we should pose the question that way or we should say that way that we can maximize but all we're talking about is Jesus Christ and the souls of man hallelujah that is gonna perish if we don't intervene It's so much blessings in doing what Lord has promised us to do. It's so much, it's so much, it's so much blessings. And really and truly yielding for God, it's something that is so important as we will ourselves, hallelujah, to be what God said we are and to do the exploits for God. Hallelujah, we must yield and will ourselves. Yielding means you are submitting yourself, you know, to the things of God. Even if you don't feel natural and normal to you, it wouldn't. Hallelujah. But you have to be determined that I am going to do thus say the Lord. I will read my Bible. I will forgive. I will tell somebody about Jesus. I will speak thus say the Lord. Once you do that and you will yourself, then you're going to realize <laughs> you're going to start to come alive. It's important, very important that you understand this application doesn't work like that. Hallelujah. He said, I stand at the door knocking and it's a constant knocking. Hallelujah. You have to constantly open the door to God. And as we realize even in scripture, um, as much as some people have received the Holy Spirit, the gift of God is um, with not all repentance, but the Spirit come upon people at different times and different intervals in life when they are different places confronted with different things. The Spirit come upon them. I mean, they have it. They have the, the Spirit, but the Spirit don't come upon them in that way or highlight himself until they are in need of it then the spirit come upon them and, and exalt and do whatever has to be done so there must be some igniting to get that spirit to activate hallelujah when we have the different means and needs but the point is as a believer you have to will to the things of god amen you have to be willing to tell people about jesus you have to be willing you have to be willing he, you know he called you to service but he's not going to force you into service what a mighty god what a mighty God. Eh? Could you imagine this? What a boss. He still don't force you. I have to willfully come here and say, Father, have your way in my life. But I have to will. I have to will. I have to be willing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even having faith in God, you have to will. There are sometimes you think it looks like it's not going to happen or whatever. And you have to will and say, God, I want, I am willing to believe you. I'm willing to believe you. Hallelujah. Amen. So whatever fear the devil put upon you, you have to will yourself out of it and project with your mustard seed of faith. Hallelujah. That measure of faith, you have to will it. As a measure it is, you are given the potential to activate it. That God is going to walk through that mustard seed of faith. It's a little bit, but it's a lot. Hallelujah. It's just a spark. That start a big fire, a little matches. You ever see a little match that start a whole forest fire that costs millions of dollars and millions of lives and how many homes are destroyed from a match? A little piece of sulfur and a piece of wood, a piece of stick, just <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So the same illustration, hallelujah, as the tongue that kindled that fire, that big Hallelujah, that forest fire that your tongue can spark. The same way. So the spirit that is, to, that is given to us and the measure of faith that is given to us must be activated. That we can be what God wants us to be. Hallelujah. And all we're saying this morning to you guys as we consider the commandment that God has given to man. I, I, you know, many times we, we talk about commandments and commandments. But remember, Jesus said all power is given unto him. Hallelujah. Jesus represents the new covenant that God has made with man. Hallelujah. By faith we are saved. Amen. We are saved by faith. As Abraham was saved by faith. Hallelujah. Abraham believed God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just imputed. Hallelujah. Into him as righteousness. Amen. 28. Matthew 28 and 19. 
We have read from that angle there when we started the conversation. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, before um, 18, 28 and 18, he said, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. My God. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Whatsoever I have commanded you. Hallelujah. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And I say this all the time. You know, being born again and receiving the Holy Spirit is something to tangibly experience. You know what I mean? You know something has happened to you. And I, I mean, you know, it's nothing to take lightly. You know what I mean? I'm just giving you my testimony. Because a lot of people will tell you the same thing. When they're born again, they know they're born again. You know something happens to you. Amen? So it might happen to you and you have not activated it so that it can really project itself or be enlightened. So it's not saying that you, don't, you have not received Christ and you're not born again. Well, you need to activate that zeal to tell people about Jesus because that spirit of God in you is not mute and he don't want to be silent because there are so many souls to be saved. Hallelujah. So if you're born again, make sure that you're born again. Make sure you have the seal of God and there is a zeal, there is an emergency in your spirit to tell as much people as the spirit lead you to tell them about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Make sure, that's very important to make sure that you have that seal. As we reference in Revelation 20, 22 and 4, they will, or they will see his face and his name will be on their forehead. Hallelujah. Amen. That seal will be on their forehead, those who have obeyed Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Revelation 9 and 4. Hallelujah. Amen. Saying, they were told not to hurt the grass of the earth, nor any green thing, not any tree, but only the men who did, who what? Do not have the seal of God on their forehead. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless God. Amen. So we, we definitely thank you for listening. We thank you for tuning in. And, you know, wherever you are, thank you for sharing Choice Radio to people and friends and families and stuff like that. As we just yield ourselves to do what God has called us to do or to immerse ourselves in the salvation of God to let him know that we are here for service and we want more people to know about Jesus Christ hallelujah that he is the only one that can save amen and all those who are on the fence and they are not sure if they can really live for God because they are looking at their, their own self and thinking I have to clean this up I have to do this first I have to do this first that's not God that's not God. Amen. God don't want you to fix nothing because you cannot fix nothing. It's only Jesus can fix it. All you have to be willing to say, God, I cannot fix it. And I need you to fix it for me. I want to give my life to you. I believe that hell is real. I believe that heaven is real. And I want to know you intimately. I want to know you personally. And I personally, I have many testimonies concerning meeting many religious people that have zero zero interest in souls of man they will tell you but the projection in life does not say it if you ask them they will tell you yes yes evangelize yeah 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 they, they, they just talk it but it's not deeply rooted in them it's not their mission hallelujah if you talk about it they tell you yes but they, they're not it's not obvious about their life what they project does not represent jesus it represents religion or belief or whatever that they follow or they practice or they believe in Hallelujah. So I guess many people feel that they have a, a, their own righteousness. They're not interested in Jesus' righteousness, which is to go into all the world. They have obtained their own righteousness and they lean to their own righteousness. So they sit back and feel righteous in their own way, in their own what they're doing. They feel that they have obtained righteousness through whatever they're doing, but they feel they don't need to tell nobody about Jesus. And if they do talk about Jesus, it's more about religion than Jesus that he can save your soul from hell hallelujah and of course the gospel totally is against that as we have read the scripture before that many have corrupt the true simple gospel of Christ 
And many are following religion and not following Jesus. Many are following doing this and doing that and following this and following that and is not yet even born again. Living just like the world but is gaining confidence in something that they do that make them feel that they know God because they are doing this or they are doing that or they are going here or they are going there but they do not have the seal the seal of God and which is very important for every believer to understand you must have the seal of Christ and that seal of Christ will propel you into discipleship it will lead you into discipleship there will be an urge in you there will be a fire in you that your mouth has to open about Jesus hallelujah anybody you meet any place you in an elevator anyway that spirit come on you ready to say something you talk I'm going to talk and if you're not going to talk, I might say something to you. That is the spirit of Christ. Somebody can call and testify to me this morning about that as an evangelist, as a person who loves the Lord, that you get out there and anytime you meet people, anywhere you go, that spirit is awakened one time, ready to say a word. You can be in the worst of mood and that spirit is telling you, say something, talk about me, say something about heaven, say something about Jesus, tell them Jesus loved them, say something hallelujah that spirit is always trying to activate if you out there and you can testify to that you want to share your testimony concerning you and your life as a believer in christ and stuff give me a call 347-663-8638 concerning discipleship amen hallelujah 347-663-8638 if you're out there in radio land today and you want to share with us concerning discipleship and being a disciple hallelujah for god and we're just encouraging you this morning. This is just to encourage all of us to make sure that we have that seal. We have that fire burning on the inside to tell people about Jesus. Because God wished for none to perish. Hallelujah. All should come to repentance. Hallelujah. That saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Man. Hallelujah. Amen. 31 minutes on the other side of the nine. The question was asked, who will go and tell my people that I live forevermore, that I am the beginning and I am the end. Behold, I live forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Do you really want me to go, Daddy Jesus? Do you really want me to go? And if you want me to go, please send me. Yeah. 
347-663-8638 So the four minutes on the other side of the nine Thank you for listening And we pray that you are taking a few scriptures down As you look at them and, and check them out yourself Amen Hallelujah The Bible says to study to show yourself approved unto God A workman that need not be ashamed Rightly dividing the word of God And of course we must rightly divide the word of God And we must understand our mission And the mission of God as it relates to man In the book of Isaiah Isaiah 61 from the top he said The spirit of the Lord God is upon me Because the Lord has anointed me To preach good tidings Unto the meek He hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted To proclaim liberty to the captives And the opening of the prison To them that are bound Amen to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that moon. Hallelujah. Now we see a reference again in the book of Isaiah as we understand that which was is that which is, that which is done is that which will be done. There is nothing new under the sun as we have established before. From the foundation of the world since man fell in the garden all God has wanted with man is a relationship. That was right. And that was based on love, genuine love for him. Understanding who he was and who he was and who he is to come. That he is truly the living God. Hallelujah. So this has always been the call of God for man. Through all generations, this has always been the plan of God with man. That man will come to the knowledge of God and love him for who he is. That he don't have to force you. He don't have to beg you. But if you love him as you claim you do, then serve him. If God be God, then serve him. If Baal be God, then serve Baal. Hallelujah. So as we see this proclamation here in, in the book of Isaiah, it's the same thing that God is saying all along. So if he has sealed you with the Holy Spirit of God, as Jesus Christ has called you, you are born again, you are baptized and receive the seal of God. Then, as he said in Isaiah, same thing. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Why? Because the Lord hath anointed me. Hallelujah. For what? To preach the good tidings unto the meek. People who don't know Jesus. He wants you to tell them about Jesus. Wherever you go, you're in the laundry. The Spirit will quicken in you to help somebody with a basket. And then say, how are you doing? Have you received Christ? Oh, well, you know. But the point is, you have gotten the opportunity. Because the Spirit of God is in you. And is upon you. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed. Has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Amen. He had sent me to bind up the broken hearted. Hallelujah. Bind up. Give you hope. Bind up the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And to op the opening of the prison to them which are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the day of vengeance of our God. Amen. To comfort all that mourn. Hallelujah. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. Beauty for ashes. And oil of joy for mourning. The garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified hallelujah hallelujah and they shall build the old wastes they shall rise up the former desolations and they shall repair the waste cities the desolations of many generations and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. Hallelujah. But ye shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in them and in their glory shall ye boast yourself. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in the portion. Therefore, in thy land, in thy land, they shall possess the double everlasting joy, 
shall be unto them. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery. For burnt offering. Hallelujah. And I will direct their walk in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Now, as we look at this here, for the Lord love judgment, I hate robbery. Now imagine you have re received the seal of God to proclaim God. This seal is not for free. This seal of God is not just to have it, to say that you have it. Just to have it to say that I'm born again and I'm going to heaven. What happened to everybody else? Hallelujah. So the Lord said he hate robbery. Because if I give you a seal and you have it for yourself alone and you're not telling nobody, then what is the point of me sealing you? And you say that nobody know that you saved. It's robbery. It's robbery. It's robbery. Hallelujah. Amen. For your shame ye shall have double and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Amen. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For I the Lord love judgment. I hate robbery and for bond offering. Hallelujah. I hate robbery for bond offering. And I will direct. I will direct the work in truth. Amen. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 347-663-8638 if you're already in Radio Land. And we're talking about discipleship this morning. And we're just looking at a few scriptures as we relate on how important it is for us to really and truly be the disciples of the Lord. How important it is that we project to be what God wants us to be. Activate what God has put into us that we can be what he wants us to be for the master's use. Hallelujah. So we all are called to tell the good news of the gospel. We all are called to give whatever God has put into us. To say something to somebody. So it's very important that we get into being disciples for God. Hallelujah. Because he has sealed us for such a purpose. In these last days. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. 
somebody about Jesus. Amen. It's really a great feeling knowing that you're doing the will of the Father. Such a great, great feeling. Acknowledging God. Yielding your spirit, not your flesh. To be obedient to God. One of the best moves you can ever make in your life. Saying, God, I believe you. And because I believe you, that's how I'm going to operate. Hallelujah. 947, the time is really moving. Wow. Amen. The time is moving so fast. Hallelujah. We bless God for each and every hero this morning, each and every listener out there in Radio Land. We thank you so much. We are grateful to be here with you and we pray that, you know, whatever we are bringing forward is, you know, bringing some awakening to you or some, you know, something that you can get from it. Whatever you can take, take whatever you don't need. Somebody else is going to take. Amen. But we thank God for you as we continue to lift up Jesus. Amen. That name that is above every name. At that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Beans under the earth, beans above, wherever they are, they're going to bow to the king. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. We just thank God. It's, it's amazing. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read another one from Isaiah, Isaiah um, 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my elect, in whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon you. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench he shall bring forth judgment unto truth hallelujah he shall not fail nor be discouraged till he had set judgment in the earth and the isles shall wait for his law hallelujah amen thus saith God the Lord he that created the heavens and stretched them out he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, the spirit of them that walk therein. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thy hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light to the Gentiles to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to grave an image. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell of them. Hallelujah. Amen. What a great, what a great scriptures. Very beautiful scriptures. Very, very beautiful scriptures. Hallelujah. 949. If you're out there this morning, you want to share with us 347 663 8638. 
if you're out there we're talking about discipleship this morning and like i said um from just observing uh, what's going on in the world jesus christ is one the son of god and there are so many religions and denominations that do not see eye to eye but still claim to believe in one him who sit upon the throne and this we all must find out this could not be right we all could not be serving the same god if he's one and this we have read the scripture before that said a savor sweet smelling savor to those who believe and to those dead to death life to life hallelujah so if we are a savor to those who believe and we cannot see eye to eye something is wrong with our savor we are not following the same master because the master said we'll be a sweet smelling savor to those are of like precious faith so in, in saying this is just for us to evaluate and find out are we really in the faith according to obedience to jesus christ he said all power have been given unto me and now i tell you what to do because all power is given unto me go into all the world preach the gospel make disciples hallelujah amen and you're making disciples to jesus unto the father god not unto religion or denomination hallelujah so it's important that we find out am i heaping up people to religion or am i bringing people to a saving knowledge of god that they can turn from sins and be workers together with Christ. Very important. Very important, brethren. Amen. As you out there in Radio Land, and I said before, we need to understand this. Principalities and powers are very, very rampant throughout the world and throughout every religious pool. There is a spirit that is running in it. Every denomination you follow, there is a spirit. That is running in it and guess what the spirit that is running in it it must line up with the spirit of jesus which is the spirit of evangelism which is the spirit that tells man that you must repent for the remission of your sins so if your religion or whatever you're doing does not speak to man against sin that religion is vain that religion is not God this is not Jesus and this is something you have to be willing to come out of if you are in it hallelujah you need to call on the name of the Lord to be delivered from those things that is taking you away from being obedient to the gospel of Christ very important because every denomination has a spirit that governs it hallelujah I remember I met a young lady and very nice and peaceful I said they was having a backyard kind of party like and the DJ was pumping some music and I say, wow well I, first of all I thought it was a car that was playing somebody parked the car and they was blasting this music so when I finally got there I realized no they was having some kind of backyard something something whatever they were having but it was a church that was doing it in the back of a church so <laughs> I, I walked to the gate I, so I say, come I call this little little lady she came and she was looking at me. I said, um, how are you doing? She said, I'm okay, you know. I said, um, is this a Christian event? And immediately when I said, she looked at me like in a kind of way. And she said, yes. Yes, it is a Christian event. I said, what, 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 what Christian event? I mean, what? I mean, uh, how could this be of God? And she said, well, let me tell you. I'm born a this and I'm going to die a this my god oh man i mean i'm saying it. amazing so now the spirit of god is a very loving spirit very very reserved the spirit of god is very very cool very calm very nice so if i say this to you and this is your attitude and this is your your and, and she just play up and walk away and oh my goodness so if we read in our Bibles and we understand what represents the Spirit of God and what does not re re represent the Spirit of God, we must know that no, 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 this operation could not have been of God. That spirit that is rebelling like this against the simple word of God could never be of God. Hallelujah. And you have people who don't want to hear nothing. You tell them about their whatever, they don't want to hear nothing. I was born, I'm going to die. Well, go ahead and die. Go ahead and die. If you're going to, if you, that's the way you want to talk, go ahead. You were born this. You're going to die this. Go ahead. Die like this. And see what happened to you. Lean to your own understanding. 
See what happened to you? Hallelujah. So I'm just saying this to say that the spirit that governs must be a spirit that line up to the word of salvation. The word of God. The word to preach the gospel. Instant in season and out of season. To go into all the world. Make disciples of men. That men will know that they are sinners. And they are heading for hell. And they need to turn back. Call on the name of Jesus. For the remission of their sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless God. As we climb to the top of the ten, I thank you so much for your listening here. I never said that I would give you silver or gold, or that you would never feel the fire or shiver in the cold. But I did say you'd never walk through this world alone. And I did say. All right, let's take the caller. Caller, grace and peace. Turn off your radio, please. Grace and peace. Turn off your radio. I, I would like to know who the singer. All right, caller. Right. Let's do this off the air, my sister. Let's do it off the air. Or that loneliness Hallelujah. You never have to fight, but I did sing. Hallelujah. I'd be right there by your side. All right. My love will be the Thank you, young lady. That you can hold on to. This is a promise. And let me just invite you that, um, you know, once something does not pertain to the topic, uh, something as the name of a song, let's wait to do it after. Write down the song and do it after. Amen. Hallelujah. So we could do it after. Hallelujah. I never said that friend. Take a note of it. Whatever way you can remember it. And when the segment is over, you can call me and ask me about it, okay? I'll be more than happy to tell you. Hallelujah. As we climb to the top of the ten. Oh, my wife sent me a birthday song. Let me see what it is. Face to face And you'll sing with the 
Hallelujah. Hey, what a beautiful morning, man. Hope you're in a good frame of mind this morning. Amen. We bless God for Jesus. And let's thank him for keeping us because as the world continues to go in a, a tailspin, so to speak, uh, you know, spiritually and morally and immorally and whatever way, you know, things are just going, wow, man, it's amazing what's going on and how things are moving. We want to thank God for keeping us, keeping us stable. We have to pray him that he keep us stable in this time that we going in this generation that we're living in that we can maintain our integrity in the word of God and every one of us that's what we need to pray God that we are able to be sensitive to your cause and to your calling as believers we are able to stay right there grounded in what your call is to our life hallelujah amen glory to the name of Jesus the Bible says God will use the foolish things to confirm the wise a matter of fact he said the cross will be like a stumbling block your man will become so exalted that they will <laughs> they could not believe anymore that a cross is able to say that a man dying on a cross has any significance because man would have gotten so educated and so puffed up in himself hallelujah what he has used the foolish things my God God is just amazing man <laughs> for those who are, <laughs> God is amazing amen hallelujah we bless him if you're out there today and you'll never receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior I will encourage you brethren whoever you are you are home there and listening to the radio or you in your car you have never committed your life to God you believe he exists but you have not come by the way he have recommended he said, if you believe in your heart, with all your heart, and you confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. You confess about Jesus Christ, that he died for you, rose again for your justification. If you want an opportunity now for the gift of God to come into your life, to manifest to you that you can be saved today, I want you to say this prayer and mean it from the bottom of your, from your, bottom of your heart, with all your life, with all your soul, Say this prayer as you believe in God as never before, creator of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Say this prayer now and mean it from the bottom of your heart. Dear God, I admit that I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sins and to accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life to fill me and to take control and to help me become the kind of person you want me to be. And I thank you Father for loving me in Jesus name amen and amen if you have said that prayer based on the bible you are now saved hallelujah it's a spiritual transaction something happens in your heart hallelujah to some people out there as you've done it you know immediately you feel something happen you know something happened then some people it take a little while to manifest itself because it's only you that know the depths of your heart only you who know what percentage of your heart you have just committed by making that declaration only you that know and God hallelujah so we thank you so much for saying this prayer today ask God to lead you to a Bible believing church don't go to a church because your friends are going there and people are going there that you know no 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 ask God to lead you to a place that you can be edified and you can be built up in the things that concern you and your soul hallelujah the Bible says that those who are born again they desire the sincere milk of the word why that they can grow thereby. Grow in what? The things of God. The things of truth. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Well, my wife wished me happy birthday and she sent me a song. Let me say what it is. I don't know what it is. Let me see. Thank you, my wife.
Thank you, my wife. I really appreciate it. I got one for you, too. Hey, six minutes on the other side of the ten. The phones are shut down and we thank those who wish me happy birthday. We praise God. We thank him for all that he has done and continue to do in our life. We got a final scripture. It's taken from Galatians. Very important scripture that we need to um, really, really pay attention to as it relates to just a simple, um, what we are talking about concerning the spirit and the flesh. And, and that's it. You know, God is the spirit. They that worship him must worship him spirit and truth. The seal that God is talking about is the Holy Spirit that must come upon you as a seal that you have received Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me give you a few scriptural references we have used this morning. You can look them over yourself. We have, well, we're going to probably go continue this tomorrow because we have a few more scriptures that really is applicable in that situation that we're talking about being a disciple and really being knowing that you are in Christ, knowing that you are born again. Matthew 28 and 19, Ephesians 1, 13. 2 Corinthians 1 22, hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5 5, Ephesians 4 13, 1 Peter 1 5, Isaiah 61 from 1, and Isaiah 42 1, John 6 27. Hallelujah. We have not used the John, but so much that we can use as we talk about this. And as we encourage brethren, let's be sober about what God says. A lot of stuff we can, in our mind, we can think what we want. But it's very important to make our calling and our election sure. Hallelujah. As the Bible says, we must rightly divide the word of God. And he say that we not be ashamed to rightly divide the word. Because you might be ashamed if you find out that what you've been doing all along is not consistent with the Bible. But the Lord said, do not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word. So even if when you read the word, you find out that 
what you're doing was not really what it is. He said, don't be ashamed to come into the truth. Don't be ashamed to change from wrong to right. Hallelujah. And sometimes pride can make you withhold yourself from submitting to God. Very important. It might sound simple and trivial. You might be doing something wrong and you're just so adamant that you're not going to change. Well, God is not going to force you to change anyway. And that's the thing about God. As much God wish for all men to repent and come to the acknowledgement of God, of Jesus Christ, he's not begging you. If you want to go to hell, you don't believe God, you believe your own way, you're free to do that. That's, that's the thing about God. You know what I mean? He's amazing. He gave us an opportunity to come to the knowledge and to know him and know what he's all about, to receive that salvation through Jesus Christ, and we can choose to take it or not take it. What a mighty God. No man could have done that. No human being, you mad? He said, hey, you take it, <laughs> get rid of you. <laughs> but not this God, we bless him. Hey, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Bless Jesus, bless Jesus. You're born again, bless Jesus. Amen, just bless him. Thank him that he has saved you today in the name of Jesus. The final scripture, Galatians 5, 16. The Bible said, this I say then, walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. So to walk in the spirit, we must receive the spirit. If I tell you walk in your new shoe, well, I must have a new shoe to walk in it. I must have something. And if God tells you to walk in it, he can't tell you to walk in it if he didn't give it to you or if you didn't have an opportunity to receive it. Walk in the spirit. What? And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Well, if you perform in the flesh or the lust of the flesh, there is a distinction that you don't have the spirit. Then you have no choice but to walk in the flesh. Amen. Or you have not activated the spirit that you can walk in it. You might have a shoe but you don't put the lace on. They have laces. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read it again. Galatians 5 16. This I say then. Walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that he cannot do the things that he would but if he be led of the spirit he are not under the law now the works of hallelujah and you see law are made for lawless men people who, are, who don't know God laws are made for them to bring them to the knowledge of God hallelujah now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery fornication uncleanliness lasciviousness idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of thee which I tell you before, as I've also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Faith. The faith of Jesus to save that is his loss. Faith. Meekness. Hallelujah. We believe by faith that we are saved. And by faith we tell others about our faith that they might be saved as we are. Mm -hmm. Faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Amen. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of being glory. Provoking one another, envying one another. Amen. We bless God for you today. Let's give you praise. It's such a strong anointing in the studio. It's just a, a I don't know. A, 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 it's just hallelujah. We bless him. He's just Oh, we give him glory. Hallelujah. We can go on for hours and hours. Hallelujah. In the word of God, right now, we can just go for days. Hallelujah. He's so alive. Amen. Hallelujah. 16 minutes after 10 o'clock. We thank you so much for listening, everybody out in Radio Land. And we always say to you guys, whatever we, we are presenting, listen with your heart. Listen with an open heart. Don't listen to criticize. Don't listen to find something negative. Don't listen to hear, oh, if you make a mistake. Oh, he cut in some scripture. Oh, that scripture doesn't say that. Oh, do, 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 do. Oh, do, 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 Come on. Let's love God. Let's listen. The word of our Father. Let's listen. Ask him. 
if what I'm saying is what it is. Ask God. And I always tell people, believe every word of God. Every word in the Bible. I believe every word in the Bible. Every word in the Bible, I believe it. Hallelujah. All I ask God to do is unfold it for me. Show me what it's saying, Father. Make it become flesh in my life that I can line up to it. But I believe every word of God. Amen and amen. So guys, be blessed of the Lord. I thank you so much for calling. Thank you for sharing. And most of all, I thank you for listening. Father, we thank you for your people, God. Father, we thank you for those who are yielding, God, to serve you, Father. Father, those who want to be exploits for you in, in, out in the world, those who want to be a light for you, Father, we pray that the boldness of God is going to come into them, God, that you will open up that mustard seed of faith, God, and let them perform it, God, that you will anoint them to do more for you, God. Father, as you call us to go into all the world, I pray that your people who are called by your name, God, and have received the seal of Jesus, will get out into the world and let the world know that there is a way out. There is a way of escape. And that way is in Jesus Christ. You have died for us that we don't have to die. And we bless you today for the great promise of salvation. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that you have done it already to us. We give you praise, honor, and glory because all praise belong unto you in Jesus' mighty name. And we claim it today in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. We bless you today. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come on this earth. Have a blessed day, guys. In the name of Jesus, be blessed of the Lord. Amen. We thank you so much. He's out there It's not a matter of If he's coming back one day It's not an issue of Him being faithful Some things are just understood Yeah There's no dilemma here He'll do what he promised There's no doubt about it He's gonna take care of me I don't know how he does it But he's working Everything together for good Afraid and don't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. And 
the shadow of your wings I will hide my king When I'm feeling low and lost without a clue ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah. When I feel afraid and don't know what to do When I feel afraid The shadow of your the greatest of all 